Number 10. Fort Hubberston in Milford Haven. Fort Hubberston provided an interlocking field of fire with 28 guns inside. It had the capacity for 250 men. It was abandoned after World War I and used as an air raid shelter in World War II. Since then, it has fallen into disrepair. Number 9, The Boys Village, Barry. The Boys Village in Barry was used for the Sons of the Miners in early 19... This video is brought to you by P2P Profit, the easiest way to receive $100,000 in 2019 with no selling and no website needed, completely turnkey. Click the link in the description and we'll see you inside the free training course. 20s. The camp offered an escape from the polluted atmosphere of the valleys. It has been abandoned since 2008 until this year where it is being turned into a housing estate. Number 8. The Palace Theatre, Swansea. The Palace Theatre was built in 1888 as a traditional music hall. In the early 20th century, stars as big as Charlie Chaplin performed there. It was used as a bar and a nightclub before closing due to it falling apart. Number 7. Billy Banks Estate, Penarth. Billy Banks Estate was built on the remains of a limestone quarry. It went into decline in the 1980s and redeveloped in 1998. The estate is now completely derelict and some buildings have already been demolished. Number 6. The Cum Coke Works in Bevi. The Cum Coke Works provided coal to the Great Western Railway in 1909. Cum Coke was designed to centralise the production of South Wales Foundry Coke. Coke works continued to run after the Colliery's 1986 closure until June 2002 and has been rotting ever since. The former Murphy YMCA was built in 1911. It was designed as a centre of advancement for local young men. It was a dance hall later in the 1950s and fell into decline of the second half of the 20th century. It has been at risk of collapsing for 30 years and has since then been abandoned. Number 4, Calcot Hall, Clanmanach. Calcot Hall was built in the early 18th century. It is a Georgian style farmhouse nicknamed the Red Dress Manor as it was owned by a lady with a red dress. That's not creepy at all, right? Number 3, St. John the Baptist Church, Harford West. St. John's Baptist Church was created in 1848 as a replacement for the older parish church. It is now nicknamed the Antichrist Church. I don't really know why. I tried Googling it and I couldn't find it out. It has been abandoned since 1990 due to subsidence. At number 2 is Targoff Asylum. Targoff Asylum was opened in 1903 for treating up to 500 patients. It was used for treating for mentally ill and used treatments such as electric shock therapy and used toxic medicines. It was practically torture. It has been abandoned since the year 2000. My number one is Denby Asylum in Denby. Just the picture itself looks creepy. Denby Asylum was built in 1848 and was used for treating psychiatric patients. By 1900, it housed 1,500 patients. In 2008, during work to renovate the building, the main hall caught fire due to arson. It was closed in 1995. That means it has been abandoned for 21 years.
As always, thanks for watching this, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, if you found it really interesting. Uh, comment to tell me if I've missed any abandoned places. And subscribe today for more videos like this. I've also made another...